Hello, I'm Robin Jacobson, the minister here at Trinity United Church in Vernon, British Columbia. I miss you. It's November the 18th and we just heard of provincial authorities ordering the suspension of all in-person worship gatherings with immediate effect. We had begun our Sunday in-person worship meetings in October on a trial basis and it was just wonderful to do that. We are now having to suspend them until we get the go-ahead from the province. We will reassess the situation after Christmas this year at the end of December. This COVID pandemic is just awful. Everyone is affected either because of having been directly infected themselves or worse, perhaps having lost a precious loved one. Our prayers go out to all of them. It has touched so many of our lives, physically and mentally and socially and spiritually. It's affected how we shop, how we interact, how we worship. Mask wearing, hand washing, social distancing have all become the norm. We are all hurting at so many levels, anxious and fearful and insecure. We are not meant to be alone. Thank God for the promise of a vaccine just on the horizon. It seems it can't come soon enough. But now it is Advent, the season where we begin to count down the Sundays to Christmas. Of course, how we do that this year is going to be D different, but Christmas is still the celebration of Christ's presence birthed into our circumstances. And with that birth comes always the promise of a hope and a joy and a love and a shalom peace. And nothing, not even this virus, can destroy that. We will continue to post our online services on our website and YouTube and Facebook each Sunday morning. However isolated you may feel, come and join us and know that you're not alone because of a unity in Christ. Just because we are physically not in the same space does not mean that we are not together in every other possible way, because we are. Also know that we at Trinity are only just a phone call or an email away and always available for a chat or a prayer. May you be blessed this year, despite your circumstances. Know that the love of God, the God of Jesus Emmanuel, is with you. And somehow, may knowing that be enough.